Greetings, dearly departed. I am talking to you about episode two of Preacher. The episode is called C, and we pick up essentially pretty much where we left off from the uh, the previous episode, where we had uh, Jesse Custer had been um, uh, kind of infected by something, this entity that came from uh, deep space, but it, it's from heaven. Anybody who read the comic knows it's from heaven. And... Uh, he hasn't really fully realized its potential and the fact that he uh, can now force people to do whatever he wants. And there's this uh, great sequence where he had been uh, drinking with uh, with Cassidy in, in the church all alone at night. He gets drunk and falls stupid drunk uh, asleep. That's when these two mysterious strangers come in and try and chainsaw the entity out of him and put it in a coffee can, uh, which is what you do from beasts from heaven. And that's when Cassidy, thankfully, comes and saves the day uh, with this uh, really wonderful chainsaw, fist fight, bloody gore uh, fight fest. It's really fun. Uh, it, it's a really cool fight. Uh, and, of course, uh, Cassidy kills both of these guys, chops them up, and mops up all the blood and chops up all the body parts, throws it in a trunk. It's about to take it out. And, oh crap, the sun's coming out, so he has to hide out with, with the trunk all day until the night so he can bury it. Uh, meanwhile, Jesse is uh, trying to come to grips with this uh, comatose girl that he starts to suspect is being uh, molested by this uh, school bus driver. And Tulip is kind of sitting around bugging him. Uh, there's this weird sequence where she kind of traps him. Uh, it's probably the dumbest thing in the episode, actually. Uh, where she knocks, we, she tricks him to stop with this baby uh, a seat or something like that. Knocks him out, uh, chains him up, and pretends for half a second that she's someone else about to torture him with the scary mask. And gives up on that and goes, Hey, I'm going to get back together with the life that we had and blah, blah, blah. Because, you know, that's totally what I would do uh, whenever I want to hook up uh, with, with an ex, is make them think they're in Saw. Um, yeah. I, I, I don't particularly enjoy that scene. Uh, that whole, uh, you know, Tulip could have took a break for an episode, because <laughs> really she had, she had nothing to do in this one. Um, also, the... Uh, I'm trying to think. The... Uh, we have uh, Jackie Earl Haley showing up uh, just for a brief scene where they take someone's house. And I'm sure that comes into play a little bit later. or like, Not so much the house, but uh, who who this guy is and what's he doing. Uh, because his motivations, his part in the show is pretty undefined at this moment. So we'll see what, what's going on. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of the episode. <laughs> And uh, it ends with uh, Jesse kind of realizing his power, his uh, super duper cool power of uh, making people uh, do whatever he says. It's called The Word, by the way, in, in the comics. And he decides to test it out on the comatose girl, and it ends right there. Uh, nice little cliffhanger. Uh, so not a bad episode. There's some uh, things here and there. Uh, there does seem to be a little padding, but uh, I'm sure that We'll go away in episode three, and we'll go right into action. I hope. I think. Actually, I already know, because I've seen the episode. All right, push the button, Lindsay.